So what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about some of the stuff that I'm going to be testing out. The main focus of this video today is we're going to talk about my steel target that you guys always see in all my videos because everybody keeps asking me where I got it. I actually did a review on this uh, steel target system over a year ago when I first got it and not many people watched that video. But the target that I have has actually been updated since I got it and I got some new things on it which we'll talk about here in a second. And there would be an airplane flying right over me right as I'm talking to the camera. Camera. There's some people back over here shooting. They're shooting rifles at some targets. Wow, that plane's really annoying. So anyways, you know, I was really wanting to have the spot that they're at so I could get some longer range stuff, but that didn't happen. You know, it was kind of a first come first serve thing, but we're gonna be testing out a few cool products. So right here, we got the 300 Blackout all fixed up. Uh, we'll have a video coming on this soon. We just finished it. I haven't even fired it all together yet. Then we have this uh, mag block here that we're gonna be testing, which converts any AR-15 lower into a nine millimeter Glock mag. We got some new stuff. Uh, we got this new Glock 19 long slide we're gonna be testing. I'm gonna be testing out this new Legion Precision slide. We're gonna be testing out these new Meprolite sights. So yeah, lots of new stuff we're gonna be testing today, but let's go take a look at Still Target. Oh, and by the way, guys, I know a lot of you guys always ask me, like, where do you go shooting in the desert? I'm not gonna tell you, because the last time I told somebody, that shooting spot got ruined and I couldn't get any video footage done there. So here's Still Target. This is a 3 8 inch AR-500 Steel Target. And what's really cool about it is, even if you chew up the front side, you can actually flip it around using these bolts here so you can use this side I like and the coolest part I like is it collapses and goes into my trunk of my Civic got a steel stand you just replace the 2x4 and then it's got a little head that sits right here but the newest addition to this is this popper this hostage target right here um, basically what you got to do is if you already have one of these target systems you can just buy this little piece as the upgrade and this just slides off just like so and slides in and then it pops back and forth like you see here um, now the downside is is if you already own this target you're gonna have to drill through this to mount this but mine was already getting messed up after like I don't know how many thousands of rounds so I just replaced that whole rear bracket so let's put some rounds down range and shoot it so I'm a little bit bummed out. I came out to the desert to shoot today. We're gonna to be testing the 300 Blackout um, now that we finally got it all finished and stuff. And I was really hoping to have access to the part of the desert where you can shoot really long range. But every time I freaking come out here, it doesn't matter what day it is or what time of day it is, somebody's there. And so I'm just gonna have to walk backwards a long way. And I have no idea what my distance is. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just going to shoot from far away because one, I don't like shooting still up close. Let me zoom you in. It's down here in the bottom corner where you can see my finger. That's where the target is. I don't know how far away this is, but let's see if we can hit steel. Not bad. I don't know if you can hear the dink in the echo um, after a shot goes off, but I am hitting it and... So yeah, that's my steel target that I got from Blue Steel Targets like almost two years ago now, and it served me very well. Oh, by the way, guys, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys out there. Holy cow, dude, we're like almost at 65,000 subscribers. <laughs> blowing my mind. We're getting thousands of subscribers a week now, which holy cow guys, I never envisioned this YouTube channel going this far. That's because of you guys. And also, you know, I've really been noticing lately that a lot of you guys are sharing the crap out of the videos. You know, sometimes I'll just Google tactical toolbox just to see what pops up. And I've seen a lot of Reddit links going through. I've seen a lot of people sharing it on Facebook and on Pinterest. And wow, I just want to say Thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys. All of you who have been there from the beginning, as well as all of you who are brand new to the channel. So let's talk about the Steel Target. It's a real small company, guys, so there might be some lead times. Let's talk about the dimensions real fast. You know, it's about two feet tall and it's one foot wide. The popper is six inch circle. I actually, I think I said it was four inches in another video uh, that I was doing, but it's definitely six inches. For me, when I was looking for a Steel Target, because I drive a Honda Civic, I need 
needed a still target system that I could take apart, put into the trunk of my car, and go to the range. You know, go out into the desert, make some videos, set up shop. Because prior to using the ABC Zone target, I was literally using like those wooden planks and then stapling cardboard onto them to put up paper targets. And I hated doing that because out here in the desert, the wind starts whipping up really fast and every single time it blew it over. And if I was shooting at any type of distance, you know, whether it be handguns or rifles, I couldn't even see my shots without shoot see targets. At least with steel, I get that audible feedback, which is something that you actually get quite addicted to. I still shoot paper though. I don't like to rely 100% on steel. Unless you freshly paint it every single time, you're not gonna see your groups. So for me, my thing was portability as well as being cost effective. You know, I think that you can get that whole steel target system for like $165. I might have a coupon code. I don't know yet, but if there is, I'll put it down below with the link to Blue Steel Targets. That way you guys can save some money on it. The addition of the popper has been amazing. Um, it's added a little bit more dynamics to my shooting when I go out to the range. Also now, like since I've gotten this one, he actually has a collapsible stand that you can put your two by four in, which I'm probably gonna look at that next because it just collapses down even further. Um, the heaviest part of the entire system is the silhouette target. That thing is god awful heavy. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, and if you go shooting in the summertime, it's probably gonna be hotter than crap when you try to pick it up and take it back to your car. Now, in the future, I will be getting more still target. I wanna add more dynamics to my shooting. You know, I wanna be able to hit different size targets, different types of targets. I want some reactive targets. And I've actually had a couple of companies just reach out to me just this past week about doing still targets. So I will be talking to them. However, right now, because I drive a compact car, which is a Civic, I'm kind of limited on what kind of targets I can get. You know, this year though, coming up, I really am gonna be working hard to get a new pickup truck. I need something that I can use, you know, to go shooting, something with four wheel drive as well, because there are many other shooting spots out in the desert that I can't access without four wheel drive. So I would definitely wanna get something like that. However, I have a couple of big issues with that. Number one, I'm not going to buy an old beater because we actually need a big, bigger vehicle for our family. So it's got to double as my work car as well as a family car and a car seat and a dog and all that good stuff. So I'm definitely going to be getting a four-door. The other thing that's holding me up, it's not like I can't afford a brand new pickup truck. My thing is I'm not a big fan of debt and I'm not going to go buy a truck that I can't write a check for. I'm waiting it out until I can go buy it. So that's just kind of one of my weird quirks. I don't like debt unless that debt makes me money. And so, <laughs> you know, we could talk about that in another video, but yeah, I definitely going to be doing more still target reviews in the future. Love to get a dueling tree. That would be awesome. Maybe one of those stands with a gong that hangs from a chain. So we could do some more long distance rifle shooting in the future. Um, you know, I will say, you know, over the course of the first year with the target system, the bolts that hold it, hold it on to the mount, they did weaken over time. He has extra bolts, you know, that you can order from him. They have the little locking feature, um, you know, like with the rubber grommet inside. Those are great. I will say though, you know, if you're going to shoot this target with rifles, please back away, not only just for your safety's sake, but also because I've already torn up like two bolts just from shooting rifles at a little bit too close of a distance, about a hundred feet. The 300 blackout rounds and uh, they don't really tear it up too bad, but the 223 and the 308, they will put some chunks in the steel, even though it's taken out a good bite of it, the thing's holding holding up like a champ. The other part that I love about it is the plate is reversible. So you could flip it around for pistols and then flip it around for rifles. If that's something you wanna do, I just don't really feel like doing all that. Without the steel popper, they're about 165 bucks. Then all you gotta do is provide the two by four. And I like that because it allows me to adjust the height. It has served me very well, has been a huge benefit to the YouTube channel. And I have nothing but great things to say about it. And so thank you to Chris over at Blue Steel Targets for sending this out to me, man. Really do appreciate it. If you're the kind of person that goes out shooting or maybe you have your own land to shoot on, highly recommend it. It is awesome. I know you won't be disappointed. That's my review of the Steel Target system. It does everything that I needed to do. It helps me, you know, as a YouTuber, I don't have to worry about going to the store picking up targets. I can just go out there and just respray it. And even if I can't respray it, I still get the audible feedback if I hit the target. So that's very very nice and very important to me. So let me know down in the comments section, what
what's your favorite type of target to shoot? So when you go shooting outdoors, do you typically shoot paper targets? Do you shoot uh, tin cans? Do you shoot bottles? Do you shoot steel targets? What's your favorite? If you guys have any questions, also ask those down below. You know, I always try to respond to comments. Um, it's harder and harder for me to respond to emails. Just to FYI, guys, I'm getting about 75 different emails with questions every day. And there's just not enough time in the day to answer them all. But I am trying to work through them. So thank you guys for your patience. But until next time, you guys stay sexy and I love you.